Thank you, uh, President Grimson, President Niinistö, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's my great pleasure uh, to address you with this um, outlook to sustainable Arctic mining. Uh, I grew up in northern part of Lapland, roughly 100 kilometers up from the Arctic Circle. So, so no, I know snow and Arctic circumstances very well. Um, I'm representing company Autotech, who is delivering technology solutions all over the world to mining and metals industries. We have roots that go back to uh, 19th century, more than, more than 100 years. We are providing solutions to Kalahari Desert, to the sand deserts of Saudi Arabia, to four kilometers in Andes in Chile, and to many customers in Arctic region. Um, Arctic industry is a great opportunity. So, uh, Arctic region is very rich in natural resources, and uh, of course, this is a great opportunity to utilize those resources. And when the infrastructure in the area is developing, uh, of course, this becomes more and more possible. Uh, let's look um, how this actually uh, looks in practice, and, and, and let's look at some of the statistics. So if we look at the map here on the right-hand side, uh, we can see that there's a lot of activity already today around the Arctic area in utilization of uh, minerals resources. So in, in practice, all the states are somehow uh, involved in these um, activities already today. And it may be a surprise uh, to you that uh, today 36% of world's diamonds or 25% of world's nickel actually comes from Arctic area. So it's happening today. There are 88 mines which are run in Arctic and actually there are more than 800 mining projects that are under development in various stages. And the value of these projects today is estimated to be roughly 150 billion US dollars. So this is already a huge industry, which has a lot of significance to the economy of the Arctic, uh, but the prospects uh, of the future are even more mind-blowing. However, what is extremely important is that in this fragile environment, we will use these resources in a sustainable manner. Um, when we use these resources in a sustainable manner, they will bring uh, social wealth to the area. It will provide long-term jobs, safe jobs for people. It will provide opportunities to educate people and uh, engage and, and, and really include them into sharing uh, this wealth that can be created from these resources. Um, we heard this morning from the Secretary General of OECD that we need growth, but we need growth which is green and we need growth which is inclusive. And um, I believe that metals will always be part of a sustainable society. We need metals in the modern society. However, they need to be produced in a sustainable way. So environmental um, aspects are, of course, extremely critical in this fragile environment in Arctic. And, uh, of course, it goes without saying that when these resources are used in a sustainable manner, it creates a lot of economical wealth for local people, for enterprises, and, and of course, for the countries. So, what do we need uh, to utilize these resources in a sustainable manner? We need technologies that can decouple the economical well-being and the creation of the welfare from its impact to the environment. We need sustainable technologies. We need eco-efficiency. And the good news is that this kind of technology exists already today. So it is only about uh, responsible decision-making when planning how these resources are used. The technology is there, it's there to be used. Um, it's not a surprise that it is the Nordic countries uh, that are providing most of the mining and metals processing technology to the world today. Uh, we have learned to, to utilize natural resources already for decades in a responsible manner, respecting the environmental uh, limitations and conditions. 
and especially of course in Finland we have a lot of knowledge how to um, how to operate in harsh Arctic conditions. And my message is that with modern and clean technologies, metals can be produced in a sustainable manner. The picture that you see here is um, from Kevitsa mine in, in, in Finland. Um, it's the company First Quantum who operates a mine there. This is roughly 100 kilometers up from uh, Arctic Nerk circle and, uh, and are producing copper and, and, and nickel and running on Autotech's sustainable technology. Um, mining is not only about machines, but it is very, very much about people. Uh, to operate these kind of plants, one really needs top-level professionals. So this provides job opportunities and educational opportunities for the local people, including the indigenous people. I believe that responsible mining is very much about inclusiveness and, and, and taking the local people with to the development of how these resources can be used. And of course this means that we need education locally, and it's not only metallurgists who are needed, but one needs accountants, one needs business people, one needs human resources people, one needs operators, one needs uh, ICT people, because digitalization is more and more and more part of modern mining. So this is actually a pretty sophisticated industry that requires a lot of knowledge to operate and of course that means great opportunity for people. We also need to have research, so it's important that um, the Arctic countries are, are investing in research of, of, of technology so that we can all the time bring more and more sustainable solutions for utilizing these uh, resources. Um, um, one example that I would like to show here is um, in Sweden, it's um, LKAB's um, iron, iron mining plant and um, this plant here is of an iron ore pelletizing plant that Autodec has built for them and this is the cleanest iron ore pelletizing plant in the world with extremely minimum emissions to the nature and also very high degree of energy efficiency. So technologies exist, what is now Extremely important is that we are committed to a vision where we will use these resources in a responsible manner. So we are not just exploiting them economically, but we, we are using it in such a manner that we are uh, in balance with the environment and in an inclusive manner we are also including local people to provide them opportunities. So I would call this a great sustainable development opportunity in all three dimensions of sustainability. Thank you.